it's that high, my face. I don't oh, know. I feel like I'm slouching. The people don't want this. <laughs> Tea. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna. What do these do? Are these beats? Yeah, you can, can I like, hit one real quick. I don't know what they do actually. <gasps> no way. Oh, we're so messing with this. You have to do that for an intro. We need to figure out which one we need for the intro. <laughs> Mags in autumn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the video can't even hear what's happening. They definitely can hear that. It's set up. I feel like so they can hear it. Okay. Let's open up. I would hope so because I was dancing and that was a little bit awkward. It's even better if it, like there's no like context and we're Does just dancing. Does this mean that the whole world is going to see how funny we are? <laughs> Or all two people that are going to listen to this. I don't care. I love me. Okay. Let's start recording. Okay. On the computer. Shit. Double blood and blood. Hey, y'all. My name is Maggie Corbett, and welcome back to another episode of Dry Blood and Blonde with braces. <laughs> I didn't have braces last time I recorded, so that's the tea. And today, I have my Favorite person in the world. Favorite. Oh wow. Yeah. I, I We're getting say, crazy. I think it's just. <laughs> I think it's just because I can have a good time. Like I think it's. I think we're funny. Is why I said that. Very very funny. Very oh, funny. Yeah. Well, y'all are about to get a taste of everything, and we just discovered that we have sound on this board. Hit it. I think I did the wrong one. <laughs> you did. <laughs> okay. Hit it again. Oh, there it is. Maggie and Autumn present Double Dry, Blunt, and Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a lot to unpack on this episode. We might. We might. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me the right questions, I'm not just going to come out with it. Oh, yeah. I thought you just said that this made you want to confess all your secrets. This does make me want to confess all my secrets, but for the privacy of the people in my life, I cannot confess all my secrets because it also confesses theirs. <laughs> A lot of people would be in a lot of trouble. A lot of people would be <laughs> so pissed. Yes, they would. I would, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just, like, dive right in. Um, so here's the one thing about mine and Autumn's friendship that I think, like, you should know going into this. Autumn and I um, either hate each other or love each other, and there's no in-between. I look like I'm Amish in this camera right now. Um, no offense to the Amish, because that might offend them. But... Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily ever hate. It's like a strong headbutt. Sometimes, I feel like the only person in my life that I'm mean to is Maggie Corbett. <laughs> and that sounds awful, but I think that that's true. I think I'm just like an easy target because you know exactly what to say. I don't say. even think it's an easy target. That sounds like I'm a bully. Anyway, so we're really good friends. That's the point. Yeah. Um, and there are a lot of times where something happens... No matter what, like, the other night when my driver was um, blackout drunk driving me and I had no idea, I called Maggie. So, you know, it comes back. It comes back to... to I tried to I tried to get you out of the car to begin with. To yeah. clarify, I was in the car with the drunk driver at one point. I wanted to go home. I didn't want to sleep in her bed. I knew it was going to be a really gross apartment. She, it's not ever It was gross. actually clean. Okay, well, every time I go in there, there's clothes everywhere, and I just did not want to face that. And I wanted to sleep in my own bed as well. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. There are usually clothes everywhere, but did you see where I color-coordinated my closet? I did. That looked really good. Thanks. I also have mine color-coordinated. Swag. Slay. Yes. Yeah, so, anyways, um, I just was like, get out. I wish I could have just, like, ordered you an Uber, but I think, like, we were too far gone at this point to even, like, comprehend too far gone on what, Magdalen? Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> ah, exposing us. We're 21. It's not like it's illegal. Okay, I'm going to do just a quick rundown. Is that okay or is that taking up too no, much you time? No, can, you can do a quick rundown. You can edit out what you want. Basically, we were going to Uber home. We yeah, I called Uber the Uber. Home, but it was $60. I didn't care. And, and it, this proves my point why I should not care to pay $60 for an Uber home. And then, so we were like, this boy, who, he has a crush on me, he's asking us to go to this bar, and we get a little manipulative. We're like, 
well, let's pretend we want to go to the bar, have them pick us up, and then be like, actually, can you take us home? Which is what we did. Which is exactly what we did. I have no interest in this boy at all. None. He creeps me out. I'm not interested he, in him. Yeah, he gave me the I creeps. I like someone else, full feelings for someone else, have to lay that down right here. But he was a little, yeah. And so, but we're also, like Maggie said, we were so far gone, but that also, we didn't know that he was drunk, and he should have told us. Time out. Also, we were talking to a police officer literally, like, right before that all happened. I don't remember that. Yeah, we did, because I said, do you have a BAC? Because I want to, like, blow on it. And he was like, no, I don't have one. And then I was like, okay. Like, he was, like, behind us. Like, the pers- the guy driving us knew the cop behind us. But this continued. This isn't even, like, really bad. It's not relevant. It's not relevant. I'm just going to do a quick run now. Basically, we drop her off. Then we're driving. He's swerving. Cop, pull up, lights, damn. That's, am I allowed to cuss? Yeah, you can cuss. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you know, this is it. Um, for him, not me, because I was the passenger. So I was like, honestly, I'm rocking solid. I just need to ride home. <laughs> And so I call Maggie because she's who I was with. Keep in mind, we also had a party at my house that night. And I'm, we're not stupid. We know whoever has to pick me up has to be stone cold sober. Um, and so I, the cop comes up. Like, it's not long before they put homeboy in cuffs. Like, he's done for. Like, they're, they're towing his car. I'm crying on the, in the gravel. Like, it's a rough night. I'm in, like, a really short dress. Like, it's cold outside. Um, it was cool. And the cop was, like, asking me questions, so I didn't have time to, like, call a bunch of people, so I literally called Maggie, and I was like, Maggie, I need you to find a ride home. Like, they have to be sober. Like, can you please get someone to come get me? Um, so she makes some phone calls, and I I did get a ride home. Yeah, you did get a ride home. Yeah. It took a couple of calls, but it worked out. we got it there. And he was arrested. He was taken to jail. And he was, like, in jail until, like, 5 o'clock the next day. Yeah, and then he tried to text me and was like, hey, what's up? When he just had gotten out of jail. I'm sorry, what? Hey, what's up? Hey, How what's are up? You? Like, you didn't just witness me getting arrested last night. And I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm good. So then I don't respond because obviously I don't care to have a conversation. I'm not friends with him. I don't care to have a conversation with him. And then he's like, are you okay? And then I just don't respond because why would I do that? I would have been like, hell no, I'm not okay. You literally took me in your car while you were under the influence and put my life at risk. No, um, John no. is mine, mine and yours, both of ours. Like Yeah, literally. Because I can okay, I knew something was up when we like passed my apartment. I was like, hey, we're like the GPS See, is I turning think me. I was so I was pretty intoxicated. I don't even remember that happening. Oh, what happened? I literally yelled I, I said, think like Turn around. I think like getting pulled over like shocked me into remembering like and like sobered me up a little bit. Because, like, Naturally. I wasn't, yeah. And so, then then he tried calling me. I did not answer. I was like, I don't know. Homeboy needs to get get his life together. We're in a group chat together with some people that I know. And he was like, this was a wake-up call for real, for real. I find out that was his second DUI in a month. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you did tell me that. I can't believe. Okay, second two. Second a month. The fir- I wish I would have. Mm, the first one should have been a wake-up call for him. But anyways, we're not here to talk about this random boy. We don't care about him. We barely know him. He's out of our lives. But that was very, very interesting. Yeah. So, anyways, I guess that was our About Last Night segment because, but we were too brutally, like, hungover yesterday to film. So there was there was a lot this weekend, so. We can unpack that's what some we more. we to unpack. We can unpack some more. Okay, so next, um... Oh, let's talk about the Barons game and husband scouting. Yes. Um, I don't know if you'll know anything about baseball, but me and Autumn, we're baseball connoisseurs. So if you're watching this and you're a baseball player, don't hit Autumn up. Don't hit me up. Please don't. But you can hit <laughs> me up. Um, I love a good baseball boy. I just, this makes me sound like literally such a boy. Um, I just love any sporting event. I like, I like, sports, like sports in general. Like, I don't want the players to hit me up. I really don't hit Maggie up, but I like to go watch. I do like to watch baseball, and I do know what I'm talking about when yeah. I go and watch baseball. Like, I, I, I fully understand what's going on. Like, I hope let so. me, let me clarify that. I um, so. I'm not like just going like actually husband scouting, but it was funny to be like, ha ha ha, let's go husband scouting. Well, let me tell this. Let me tell this. Okay, so we're there. Maggie's like randomly like, oh, I actually think that I Snapchat a guy that like plays for. The Barons, like that's weird. So, she like posts on her story. We leave. He slides up and is like, "Come to my game and don't even come say hey." 
Yeah, I was like, oh, excuse me for not like, realizing you play for this team. Is this a mi- is the Bears minor league? It is a minor, it, which is still cool. It's still like professional. It's, cool. it's still. The lights are out. That's scary. someone. Is someone in here? I hope we don't get killed. That that would be like the debate teacher who killed the student on the Sanford debate team. What are you talking? About? Oh my God! You don't know about this. Wait, maybe we should pause. T. Let's pause for an intermission. Okay. I'm gonna keep videoing. I'm gonna pause this. What happened? Oh no, we should read about that. Okay. Find my phone. When did this happen? A long time ago. How do you know about this? Because we were talking about in class the other day. I'm gonna go grab my phone. Okay. Read it. Okay. Well, no, read the debate team thing. I know, I'm fixing to start recording. Oh, we're recording for it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're back recording. Um, so we're. <laughs> okay, don't please cut that out. Please start saying. Okay, we're back recording. <laughs> That's what the debate teacher was thinking um, when he killed the student. So we're just gonna read about this. This is kind of random. <laughs> Okay, so Samford professor kills student. Okay, this is on the AP News. So this is like serious. Probably United Press it. International. Um, AL.com. How long ago was this? Um, this is a while ago. Uh, October 3rd. 1989. And he asked me what day it is. It's October 3rd. Yeah, well, this October 3rd, not good for this guy. Um, So, a university professor in the stabbing death of a student he coached on the debate team wrote a letter admitting to killing, to the killing, police said. A murder warrant was issued Monday for William Lee Slag, 42, a Sanford University professor who saw in the September 21st slaying of 20-year-old Rex B. Copeland. T. That, yeah, that, that would be considered T. Yeah, anyways, okay, that was kind of off topic, but well, I was just trying to, like, I was just trying to, like, tie it in. Yeah, no, can I look at your notes? Yeah. I think we're going to have to go off, go off script. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's just start Wait. talking. Be a seeker. You already did all that. Becoming humbled about business while still self permitting. Um. What do you want to talk about? Can I get your podcast? Ask some questions. Do we want? We should come up with some type of like game segment. What type of game should we play? You know how like on BFFs podcast, it's like rape this person or like F Mary Kill or like. Yeah, I do like BFFs. <laughs> Should we do a shout out to Dave Portnoy? Shout out to Dave Portnoy. Yeah. I I love him. Yeah. I would marry him. I wouldn't go that far. No, I would. Okay. <laughs> the dedication. Mainly because I like to watch the pizza reviews. Pizza, pizza. Yeah. Just pizzas. I can't even do his voice. It's got a nice flop. I'm still so... I have so much anxiety from this weekend still. I'm so emotionally drained still. This is should just be a giant about last night episode. Because it was truly... I want to talk about it so badly on here. Show. But I can't talk about it. I literally can't talk about it. Um, We'll talk about what you can. So, we went to BSC to a frat party. That was fun. Yeah, I walked up to this random guy and I said, Are you a Sigma Chi? And he said, Yes. And I said... Can a pledge drive us to the grocery? 
and he grabbed the pledge and said, are you sober? Shout out to that dude. And the pledge said yes. And they said, take these girls to the grocery. And then to the grocery we went. And that's where the night went south. <sighs> Let's talk about our Halloween costume. You know what we can talk about? What? Should we do a little past relationship segment? You know who I can talk about? Yeah. Um, Lizard. Lizard? You know I hate I'm, Lizard. You know what I'm about? I know exactly who Lizard is. Let's name him Thomas. Okay, Thomas. Let's name him Thomas. I'm not a fan of Thomas. Oh my God, time out. Speaking of, because you said Thomas, this this will make sense in a second. Okay. Um, at the grocery, I hit a guy. Who did you hit? I, some guy. So me and she has it. Let's backtrack. Quick five second pause. She has an issue with hitting people. She has slapped and punched a lot of different guys. She would be what you call crazy. <laughs> it's not because, okay, in every situation, I feel validated. Like, don't grab my ass at the bar and I won't hit you. So, anyways, besides the point, it, like, in every situation, Almost. except one, okay. I've been validated where I've hit these men. And it's because, like, I'm at the bar and they grab my butt. Like, of course I'm going to turn around and just... Which I kind of do respect you for that in a sense because I, on the other hand, like, I am very, like, stand up for myself, like, say my piece. But I won't go as far as sometimes I think they deserve or, like, how much they've wronged me because I'm like, it's not worth it and I don't want to look crazy. But I'm not saying you're doing it as, like, I'm looking crazy. But, like, you're sticking up for yourself. And, like, I will just be like, oh, it's not worth it. Like, I don't want to get called crazy. But, like, why are we letting, like, guys decide who gets to be called crazy or not when they are all the time so crazy and do crazy crap all the time? And no one's like, oh, Jeffrey. 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 Oh, Thomas. Oh, whoever. Like, he's so crazy. And if they are, it's just like, yeah, but he pulls bitches. Like, you know? like Yeah. It Oh, I gotta adjust this. Exactly. And my thing is, is like, if you're gonna have the audacity to grab my ass at the bar, I'm going to turn around and smack the loving daylights out of you. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, there's not much I can do other than yell at you. And yelling at you isn't gonna get the point across when you're drunk. So, you know, it does hitting you. Well, this isn't why I hit the guy this weekend. The reason I hit the guy this weekend is he walks in the women's bathroom at the grocery. And I'm <gasps> like, I know where you're... You hit him? Yes. And so he, like, comes in there. His he's girlfriend going, was in there. He had just accidentally followed her in. No, no, no. This is a different thing. This oh, is a different okay. thing. He comes in there, and he asks... He's like, is so-and-so in here? And I'm like, no, she's not in here. I'm the only person in here. And he's he comes back in again. I'm like, no, she's not in here. And by this point, there's other girls in the bathroom. And I'm like, no, she's not in here. So then he comes in again, and I, like, walk out to like the door because I'm like waiting on a friend to get out of the bathroom and I'm like hey she's not in here he slams the door in my face I like open the door back up and I said did you just slam the door in my face and he goes yeah I did then proceeds to call me the c-word um which drew the line and I said never ever call a girl you don't know for no valid reason that again so then he comes back to the door. I, like, walk back in the bathroom. He comes back in the bathroom, is screaming at me, and I said, get out of the bathroom. And he, like, is, like, just yelling at me at this point. I'm, like, I, like, just kind of push him out, like, bye. He slams the door in my face and nearly slams my hand, and that's when I go after him. I just, like, smack the piss out of him. And another, like, not the piss. <laughs> I just knocked the piss out of him. Another one of my friends... Um, is like, oh my god, Maggie, Maggie. Sorry if that was really loud, that but was, that hurt my ear. She was like screaming and saying, like, like yelling, like you could. And so, um, I was like, so then, like, I kind of like black out, and I, next thing I know, like, guys are grabbing uh, him, and like, they didn't like kick him out, but they just got him away from I me. I don't even know where I was during this. Who was I hanging out with? I have no clue because I just went to the bathroom by myself, and then I, was I? found Nani in the bathroom. I have no idea where I was, and that's concerning to me as well. Uh, yeah, that's I have fine. no idea where you were at this point. Um, but anyways, so back to the lizard. I oh, hate lizard. Oh, Thomas. Yes, yes. So Thomas So I lizard. met this boy last Halloween, um, and... I hit him this night. She, she 
hits him because he's we can't give too much information. I feel like some people are already gonna know who we're talking about. Um, he spilt a drink on me four times, yeah, and did. then like the last time he like deliberately spilt the drink on me, so I smacked him. Yeah, he deserved it. Yeah, he. Yeah, yeah. Should I? No, no, that really degrades me. I can't tell that story. <laughs> Like, oh, give me 10 years and we would have the funniest podcast ever. Because no one would care at that point. No like, I would care. expose everybody with Well, it's not even exposing everyone. Like, It's exposing some, us. Well, I was about to say, like, the stuff this weekend, I w- can't say because it would expose, like, people I care about. Yeah, that's but, bad. Yeah. This one I, really doesn't expose anybody that we care about. Yeah. Except. I don't care about him. It exposes and, me. Well, it does. It does expose someone that tried to help us this weekend that we care about. Because mm-hmm. it happened you know what I was going to yeah. talk about was the crying when he was like screaming at me was basically like I don't want you and I was like what <laughs> like, I was I at this other guy's me. house yeah yeah. Uh, yeah so anyways she meets him at the Halloween party yeah I did I was not interested in him then by any means whatsoever <laughs> I yeah I did get a really cute picture with him that night though we took a really cute picture that night. We had to drive him home to his house um, because he, this was a couple weeks later, he had been asking me to hang out and he had like done me a favor by driving me home and I was like, wasn't, didn't have a car or like wasn't able to drive. Um, and so he had asked me to take him home um, and I didn't want to go with him alone because I was kind of scared. I didn't know if I was interested in him or not and I didn't want to send the wrong message. And so Maggie comes She comes and picks me up. No, we were in your car already. Wait, and I was where? like, oh, do you want, oh, do you just want to drive go with me campus. to take Thomas home? Yeah. We did have to drive on campus. And so we take him home. He's pretty drunk. Um, and he's trying to, like, play with my hair the whole time. Was he was playing with your hair the whole time. But, and, <laughs> he gets out of the car and walks inside. And I look at Maggie and I'm like, why do I think he's kind of cute? <laughs> I Famous said, last words. <laughs> Famous last words. I said, yeah, he is cute. In the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Dear heaven. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have terrible taste in men. He's, I also, like, but in my defense, that whole time, he was pretending to be someone he's not i actually don't care to expose him because i would never ever ever do anything with him ever again um all i'm gonna say is that he had he knew the kind of guy that i wanted to date so he pretended to be that up until he just couldn't pretend anymore so he had told me he did no drugs at all like nothing like didn't drink that much so one night he's supposed to take me on a date um and he sends me a picture with like it looks like a piece of paper on his tongue and i i thought that it was gum um, why was why would gum look like paper? Because I didn't know what acid looked like. I don't know what and acid looks like. Wait, it looks like a piece of paper. It looked like a very thin, like, yeah, and it was like a tab of acid, and yeah, yeah. So he popped a, he popped a tab of acid instead, and then showed up at my house like tripping out. It was it he was showed just, up. At your, I showed didn't up know at my this. House, yeah, and I was like, I literally left him on the couch, and I went and got in my bedroom, and I locked my bedroom door. Wait, no one want to know what acid. Oh, okay. It's literally a sheet. And he was like, and I was, and so then we argued about it the next day because I was like, I was like, if that's something you're going to do again, like, I can't be with you. I'm not going to. And he was like, no, like, he was just saying that, like, his stuff was good and I didn't believe him that he was good. So I was like, I have to do this to prove that it's not good, like, acid. And I'm like, so you've so tried acid before. before. And he's like, no, like, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, if you're gonna like exactly like, talk the talk, and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, like your acid sucks. Yeah, man. and he then, obviously has, and he was yeah. okay with all of his friends knowing that. He just didn't want me to know that because he knew that I would like not still be with him. Yeah. This boy's a massive red flag. Oh my gosh, he's so disgusting. He is nasty. Um, Let's talk about William. We haven't come up with a name for this one yet. Um, Can we call him Trevior? You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Trevior. <laughs> Whose Trevior. name is Trevior? <laughs> That's my sister's um, boyfriend's name. Tre- it's really Trevor, but it looks like Trevior. So this is Trevior. really precious, but I, I don't know if this is his idea of a date or not. And I, we're going to have fun, but 
he wants to take me to um, Bass Pro Shops and then to either lunch or dinner. That's just so fun. And it's going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. And I know I'm really honestly going to love it. That is something I'm going to enjoy a lot. You're going to be like taking selfies in Bass Pro Shops. No, with I'm the, not. I would be like hats running around. You're going to be like, oh my gosh. But like, I would also love to get taken to like a rooftop bar and like, like get flowers bought for me and go to a nice dinner and <laughs> yeah yeah well with those college frat boys you're not getting that okay 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 no I'm just kidding Trevor is kidding. a very very good nice guy and yeah so now let's move on to this next segment college ceo oh yeah i like that i like that too so um this week we're gonna talk about um like humility like becoming humble while owning a business and still like self-promoting yourself so I try to be like a in general type humble type of person but sometimes I'm just not humble at all I would like to say I'm not trying to brag by any means um but you know sometimes I sell some clothes to Plato's closet and I I get a profit hey I love a good sale to Plato's closet uh, they're actually shit so we just cut that out (laughs) <laughs> Plato's Closet, if you're watching this, you're robbing you girls. You suck, Plato's Closet. I'm coming for you. And Stylong Quirk is your own by the same people. Honestly, all the girls, suck. hold on, let's put this in here. Any girl, if you want to sell clothes, come to me, I'll buy them, and I'll resell them myself. Yeah. I agree. You would make so much more profit. Yeah. Yeah. Y- y'all do that. Literally, sell your clothes on Facebook. The middle-aged white moms will buy them for way cheaper. You know that pantry? Or way more. You know that pantry that says it uses a pantry at my house? Yeah. You can shop out of there. Swag. It's like those girls, you know, it's a Sanford girl thing. They have, like, yard sales. Oh, dear but heavens. But it's not like a yard sale. Like, they post and they're like, come shop from X Lulu, time. Lulu, Golden, Anthropology, Free People. Come one, come all. Everything is five dollars and below. <laughs> You're like, ow. Hey y'all, y'all like these dollar <laughs> bills? I just got five bucks. <laughs> what is going on? They're like, oh, I wore it one time. It's just, it just didn't fit right. It's just, I just can't bear to see someone swear. I I again. took a picture on Instagram with these shoes yeah. on. Yeah, I can't. They're custom golden goose. I can't wear them again because Instagram seen them. Yeah, exactly. Who mm. doesn't relate to that? <laughs> come on. Anyways, back to me being humble. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, that was good. Um, so, when I first started out, I was really like, oh my god, like, I'm a CEO. Like, I would always, like, make sh- that, like, a point where I met anybody. It was here. so, am I allowed to talk during this? Yeah. It was so annoying. It was bad. I could not, I love you and we've been spending so much time together, but at that point, I could not stand to be around her. Because it was, like, because my whole first, personality. Because at first, you're, like, oh, I'm so proud of you. Like, this is awesome. Like, you're doing it. Like, and then it's, like, can you talk about something, something else? else? Yeah, I agree. Because it, it, it had, like, became, like, you know? my only personality And it was just, like, constantly bragging and constantly, yeah. And sometimes Maggie doesn't pick up on social cues. And so if no one was calling her out on, like, stop talking about that, she would just think that everyone was interested in it. And then it was, like, pushing people away, I guess. But, like, mm-hmm. we can ca- talk about that because you don't do that now. Yeah, and that's why I want to talk about it is because it's, like, something I've realized. And so I'm almost, like, more cautious now when I talk about things. So I'm always, like, hang on. Because you also don't really know, like, what other people are, like, dealing with in their life. And the fact that, like, you were so blessed that your father could start a business for you, you know, and, like, get that up and running for you. But other people could be, like, struggling to, like, pay their way through college or doing this and that. And it just is, like, becoming self-aware, yeah. Yeah, so it's really, like, me having to learn, like, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, like, easy to say, oh, yeah, I know not everyone's parents can do this for them. But then you get, like, so self-absorbed that, like, you're, like... (laughs) Why couldn't your parents do this for you? I say that as my card got declined at McDonald's tonight. Shut up. With, did you try and order more than the cheese Danish? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just put it came, on a different card. She came to my house and she had um, Panera, Chopped, and McDonald's all in her hands. I couldn't decide what I wanted for supper. <laughs> yeah, so she got her um, starter soup from Panera. 
her um, main course, her salad from Chopped, and her dessert from McDonald's. And I had a coffee from McDonald's. Oh, okay. So, two desserts. Yeah, two desserts. But, <laughs> so, I, I listened to, like, ACC's um, church sermon from last week, not this week. Because okay. this week it was, like, church at home. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know. So, I just, Nani and I found a sermon that we hadn't listened to. And so, it was really just talking about, like, um, pause. Anyways, I just um, didn't want you to have to edit like a ton, you know. I'll probably so I will. That. Um. So, anyways, this lesson it talked about like stewardship is the careful and responsible and tactical management of something entrusted to one's care, and you know everybody's financial situation is different, but God blesses you with your financial like status. God or, blesses everyone in different ways. Yeah, yeah. Or like with you know your family or you know your upbringing or somebody in your life it's it's how you use your assets for the kingdom of god and that's just something that's really like resonated with me here lately and then hearing it like from a church perspective it was nice to hear because it had already been heavy on my heart that actually makes me so happy that you're saying that like i kind of am low-key getting like teary a little bit thinking like I don't know, because I think that's so great that that is, like, hitting you. Because the whole point, it's so, so easy to just get caught up in the day-to-day in life and the party and doing whatever. But, like, I don't know about you, but, like, how you're saying, like, heavy on your heart. Like, me, like, not living my life consistently in the way that I know the Lord is pushing me to live, it's heavy on your heart. It's what sends, it's what's sending so many college kids into the depression that we're going into. We were put on this earth for the purpose to serve the kingdom of God. And by not doing that in any which way, it's you're it's, unfuf- it's unfulfilled. the toll on your mental health. Exactly. Yeah. You're, you were so unfulfilled. And I think... Especially now, and especially so many insecurities mm-hmm. too. Oh well, my goodness! That's what I was about to say. Especially going to Sanford, it's so easy to. And I live in a, like a utopian society. I said it on the last episode. I gotta swallow. I feel like I'm just staring at you the um, whole time, and you're staring at the computer. I'm just keep well. Doing I'm this. like looking at you on the computer. <laughs> like so, people if, if people actually watch this, hopefully, if, like if they listen, they just listen to Spotify. Because if not, it looks like I'm obsessed with you. I'm like, you don't have to be obsessed with yourself because I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, but anyways, um, you're growing. You're growing. Oh, utopian yeah. society. Yeah. So utopian society. It's so easy to get caught up going to a school like Sanford or a school that general the general population comes from the upper one percent of the United States yeah. because I see kids. Driving G-Wagons, driving Porsches, driving top-of-the-line cars, driving Range Rovers, driving Audis, X, Y, Z. And so, when you don't have those things, not saying it makes you less of a person, but you put so much value into your self-worth because you don't want these people here to think you have less than them or think you're, like, a gold digger or moocher yeah. or X, Y, Z. Yeah, which... And so, you, it's almost like playing keeping up with the Joneses going to school here. And everybody does it. I'm guilty of it, you know... Everybody, I feel like, Same yeah, it was more like a year. freshman year type thing. It it's is not like as bad around, now. around, it's kind of like your eyes are opening because, you know, even the school I went to, like, before coming here, like, I, there were a lot of wealthy people there, but not well as wealthy as the people at Samford. But it to me at that time, it wasn't necessarily of, like, keeping up with the Joneses. I feel like it, I don't know, I think it was more so just, like, it almost made me sad, not about my life, but it was sad. Other kids. Seeing, like, Never how worked. unhappy everyone still was. Does that make sense? Yeah. It, one thing I've definitely learned going to school here is money can't buy you happiness. It can't make you fulfilled. And back it's to the It's just, like, thing. ungratefulness. There's so much ungratefulness. There's also so many genuine people here. But the main thing that I've noticed, and it's not just Sanford. I don't want to attack the school by any means. But it's, like, in the South. Like, the South, I, okay, I was doing the, my devotional the other night, and it was just, like, what what's just popped up on you? My iMac is some, is something later. We can do that later. Okay, and, like, if you want to choose to put this in here, cut it out, you can, but, like, this is something I wanted to talk to you about anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was doing my devotional the other night, and it, he was telling this story, and he was, like, this guy, he had just, like, graduated for from, um, oh, it just spaced my mind. He graduated from college. No, 
something school when you're going to be a pastor. Oh, um, se- not? Sem- seminary. seminary. Yes, yeah, seminary. What the heck is going on with me? So he had just graduated from seminary school. And so, like, everyone in, like, their graduating class, I guess, they were leaving and they were going out on their different f- forms of their mission field and that what they felt called to do. So he was going to Las Vegas. Um, Swag. No, 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 no. Someone in his class was going to Las Vegas. Same he was, city. And he was going somewhere in the south. It might have been Alabama. I think it was honestly Alabama. I think it was Alabama. And... He told the other guy, and he was like, man, like, I am just so in awe of you. Like, look at you go, basically. Like, I wish that I was called to be there because I feel like I'm just going somewhere that's already so overpopulated with Christians. Like, you're really serving. Like, you're fulfilling your calling. Like, you're doing what the Lord called us to do. And I'm just out here, like, doing nothing. But the And he was like, no, man. Like, I'm jealous of you because all the people in Vegas – all the people in like all those areas, California, wherever, they know they're lost. They find Jesus and then they're living that life. And it's like they are like they are Hallelujah. living in sin no more. Yeah. Exactly. It's like in third world countries that you see when you go on mission trips and stuff. And that's the only and time we see it. They get like so hyped for Christ. Exactly. And on here, to, yeah. I know exactly where because you're fixing you, to go with you it. Say, you're washed. You know, you're so used to this routine. You get up, you go to church every Sunday. That's we grew up th- in church. Yeah, you do You don't it. know any difference. You it's go a habit. out on a Saturday. You party on a Saturday, go to church on a Sunday, and that's what everyone here does. And I'm not, and I'm not Just to clarify, to we, we do this. We do this. Exactly. And we're not so we're, saying, yeah. If you think, like, you're we're attacking, feeling attacked, yeah. we're attacking ourselves. We're attacking, we, yes. we know we're guilty of yes. it. Yes, yes. Like, and it hurts me because I'm like, why can't I give up that life? Like, what like why does that also feel like it fulfills me and then I go to church and I'm like Lord please change my heart but I'm still doing it I'm still back out there like I'm not saying it's a sin to drink I am Southern Baptist but like that's not what I'm saying but it's like finding that (laughs) my dad says you always take two Baptist fishing because they won't drink your beer (laughs) haha yeah no growing up in church it was like it was like drinking is like so wrong like so frowned upon blah 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 and I like was like in high school I didn't even drink freshman year of college. But anyways, that's that's so, so irrelevant. Big, irrelevant. Yeah, so you can cut that out. But, oh, hold on, I think I'm going to burp. It was inside of my throat. I hate that. Okay, so basically we kind of got on fire for a second. Um, we are caught up in living this life, and it's almost living a lie, and that is even more draining because it's like I ha- it's a do- best of both worlds, Hannah Montana, right there in the flesh. You get it. But it's draining, and it's... It's not fulfilling. It's, it's not, not the true, it's like... It's not. But that, that's a thing. There are so many people here that see themselves as Christians. And even the people who aren't... I I do believe... I'm not saying because you're going out on a Saturday and you go to church on Sunday that you're not a Christian. That is not what I'm saying at all because I know I'm a Christian. What I'm saying is there's people who were... Um, living a much just more Just living in here. No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm saying there's people that have grown up here or have lived in Alabama and they think because they know who God is that that means that they're saved and that means they're a Christian but they're not. Because they're just doing the routine and they're doing the actions that they think they're supposed to do and that they're that, raised to do. That's still not what I'm saying. Like, uh, uh, that's true. That's true. But what I'm saying is, like, the devotional that I was reading, it's even the people that are, like, just going, like, that too. But, like, there are people that just go to church on Easter. And you, it's harder to have a conversation oh, yeah. with people that know the Bible and claim to be saved that aren't than it is to have it with a lost person because they're able to argue these things and then their eyes are open. But with someone who knows the Bible but still isn't saved, it's so much harder. And it's like, how do I get through to you? How do I do it? And you just can't. Like it's, I mean, you can eventually, but that that's what I'm saying. It's, so the Bible Belt is such like a sin-filled, like just... It, it, and it's not We're like living in Sodom yeah, and yeah <laughs> yeah for real and I think like here it's in Vegas they're so much more open about their sin and yeah. like here like oh so and so had an affair oh well you better nip that in the bud and you better be at church on Sunday because it, here I feel like people tend to live in their sin more versus there they realize that they're in sin like we said yeah and they're gone and they repent, and it's no more because they're open about their sin versus here. It's socially unacceptable almost to sin. But, yeah, let's get back Let's get back to the um, – that's a very good point, Maggie, but let's get back to what your college CEO because I took us on a tangent. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, so being humble. So I've realized, like, when I go to the – back to the bar, mm. I uh, – <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
I, at first, when I would go to the bar and, like, talk to people I never met, especially guys, I was... That's where we met. We met at the bar. We met at the bar? Yeah. No, we met at... The bar where I had my birthday party. We met at Nani's before we... No, we we didn't. We met there. Swag. Do you not remember that? Remember the whole Bama thing? Oh, Mm -hmm. yeah, we did meet at the bar. Yes, we did. Um... Tragic. That was also during. I had a very, very, very wild second semester of my sophomore year of college. I was a little crazy girl. <laughs> crazy, crazy, okay, crazy girl. Okay, not in, yeah. <laughs> anymore. But anyways, so I would go to like talk to a guy at the bar, and he'd be like, "Oh, like, what do you do?" I'd be like, "Oh, well, I'm in college, but I own my own business." So now. I did it for a while. I was like, you know what? They don't give two shits about <laughs> if I own a business. I have sold some stuff that way, but I will say I don't want them to come after me for my money or, you know, want to date me or it, have, like, any intentions of me, like, friendship, whatever, just because of who I am. Yeah, I feel like most guys at... Well, the good thing about Sanford, though, is most guys at Sanford, you're not having to worry about that because everyone yeah, here true. does have their own. So it's like when you're talking about that, it's literally just a turn Annoying. off because it's like, sis, Nobody I, gives a I shit. don't care. Like, there are people whose families own multi-million dollar businesses, like whole, like huge insurance companies, banks. Yeah, <laughs> literal banks. We know people who um, own banks. But, like, it's just stuff like that. Full like, companies. And it's, like, and it's great. Like, it's fine. But, like, so they don't care. We don't, like, I know we're proud of you, but it's, like, we don't care in the sense to brag about, like, you don't you don't need to brag about your money because no one, it just makes people not want to talk to you. And you have realized yeah, that. Yeah. But that was, like, something that, yeah. You know yeah, so now I'm just kind of, like, it's, so, I mean, I talk about it in my business daily. I mean, that's just kind of part of it or whatever. And people always are asking, you know, how's the store, whatever. I mean, I'll tell them, I'm like, oh, it's good. Like, you know, just not like, oh, my God, like, I had an insane day. Like, I tried to refrain from that. Or I'm just like, oh, like, it's going, you know, like, it's steady. Business is steady. That's, like, one of my favorite ones to say right now. Because (laughs) I don't want people Yeah, man, business is steady. We got them barbers. We got them barbecue. We got jackets. them. We got them buck boots coming in. They're they're coming in hot for hunting season. We are, we're in bow season right now, but it's coming in. It's coming up soon. <laughs> Literally. <me. laughs> um. So we I are just in bow season right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. It started Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Wait. What's the, what's what did we name him? Trevoria. <laughs> Trevior. Trevior. The only reason I know it was bow season is because he Trevor was. Yard. Yeah. I figured. Oh, so that's why he yeah. was where he was. Oh, that makes no, no, he sense. actually, no, he actually was helping his family with something, but um, he was talking about possibly hunting oh. on Thursday, Friday morning. Sweet, that's fun. But I just kind of, you know, realized, like, when people ask me what I do, I'm just saying, I'm a college student, I work at a store. That's... No, but Maddie, you should still be proud of what you do. Yeah, but then, you know, they go into it, and they're like, oh, like, what store do you work at? I'm like, oh... It's called Corbin Co. And they're like, oh, is that your family store? So I let them ask to know. I'm not going to tell them more than they want to know. Yeah. If they want to know the full extent of it, I'm happy to tell the full extent. But they're like, oh, cool. You work at a store. That's great. Yeah. What kind of store? I work in an outdoor store. Oh, that's cool. What outdoor store? You know, yeah. then I would go on a tangent. But they're like, oh, that's so cool. Like, you work at an outdoor store. Let it be. I'm not yeah. going to go the mo- extra mile to be like, oh, yeah, by the way, I own it. And so I think it's like you really have to be humble when you self-promote because there's no sense in wasting wow, your breath. Wow, I am proud of you. Is there a clapping one of these? That wasn't it. <laughs> yeah, so I've just really, um, that's something that's resonated with me here lately, um, Because I don't want to waste my time and breath on somebody who doesn't care. And then if they proceed to follow me on Instagram, then they can look and see, oh, wow, cool. That's so cool. Like, got away, girl. (laughs) I did take that out of my bio after you told me you took it out. She played a few of those. 
my pretty little calculator. Yeah. I bought, well, Maggie bought, I haven't paid her back yet. Um, my Halloween costume that I purchased was um, $85, and it looks like it was made by an infant. Not it pro- it This is not a funny, but was, it probably was. But they charged that much, and so you're like, oh, it's going to be at least cotton. No, it was spandex. It was less than spandex. It was like, spandex is more Nylon? Like, pro- I think it was nylon. It was very thin. Spandex is, it was, if it was spandex, it was just very thin spandex. Poor quality spandex. Yeah. Spandex would at least make your body look good, you know, like and like compact. You know what I'm saying? Like snatched. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm just gonna have to work out to look snatched. At least this. our beer mugs are epic. So I'm gonna show you those right now. If you're watching, if not, you can hear our reaction. If not, you'll see them on Halloween. Actually, don't show them. Don't show them. We, you can pull up pictures from Halloween. We can have oh, a yeah. Halloween segment. You're just gonna have to wait. You're just gonna have to wait to see our our beer mugs. They're probably gonna be shattered by the end of the night. So, come to the same Halloween party as us. We're gonna, not going to tell y'all where because we're famous, and, of course, we don't want everyone to just rush, <laughs> the, rush the house. But, we don't want TMZ there. Yeah, like, come on. Like, ugh. I'm, not, I'm, I'm okay with paparazzi if I call them, but otherwise... Don't show up. Yeah. Have you watched Bling, uh, Blingering on Netflix? I'm not going to watch something about other famous people. Anyways, we're famous. That's the point. If you don't like us... <laughs> How long have we been doing this for? Um, Can we take a water break? Yeah. Will you buy me a Sunday after this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and a water, maybe. Mm-hmm. You ready? And we're back, and it's time for a game. So we're going to play F, Mary Kill. Kiss, Mary Kill. But we're going to call it Kiss, Mary Kill. Yes, we kiss boys. Um, okay, I've given this one some thought. We took a quick break, and I came up with the names that I want to do for Maggie. And I'm doing two people that we know and one that we don't, but is an idol. And she, you already revealed your feelings for him. But with this lineup, you might have to change it. Mm. Here we go. Okay, so earlier, as we were talking about pizza reviews, I'm going to go with Dave Portnoy. Yeah. Let's, can we, are you able to edit He's pictures so in? Can we let it in, edit in pictures of the boys? Yeah, we can. We can. Okay, so above or I'll us, just, like, show you. Shameless, like, plug these I just boys. accidentally licked the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mm. them up. Yummy. Yum, yum. Okay, so here. You don't have to look up Dave Pointo. Everyone knows him. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to do John T. Brown. Okay. Looking him up. <laughs> Don't, don't reveal that out loud. I'm looking him up. Okay. She got logged out of her Instagram. Okay, here, here we have lovely, lovely John T. John T is such a zoom, cutie. Zoom in on that and then. He does have hairy parted glasses, so that's, I think, why I'm, like, in love with Wait, him. Wait, I was about to say, they're kind of adorable. There we go. Okay, next look up. So next we have, oh. Turn on my do not disturb while you're doing that because I don't want to give a notification. Focus. Yeah. Um, next, I'm going to do Riley Russell. I wish you would just edit pictures in, and that could be like your um, little thing for the week, us naming these boys and their pictures popping up and you rating them. Oh, you should have done a tagged one because that's so old, but it's fine. Go to my Instagram. Go to Simi. Um, right there, right there. Rouse is also so so cute. Look at him. Yes, yes, and he's had a glow up. He's had a glow he up. Has. He's cuter this semester. He's really cute. He's ever been. Okay. So no I offense, to, Riley. No offense, Riley. Here's so me. I have to choose Kiss Mary Kill mm-hmm. between John T. Dave Pointnoy and Riles. Mm-hmm. Ooh, realistically, realistically, like if they were all like get, telling you pick what you want to do to us right now, and I will marry you. I will kiss you or you can kill me so realistically like in a perfect world i would choose to marry dave point Noy. yeah um oh this one's getting kiss, this one's kind of getting intense kiss now. john t and <gasps> you're oh, killing yeah. but in a normal world i would kill dave point Noy. i would kiss riles and i would marry john t because i literally think john t is like perfect 
Not because she doesn't want Riley dead, but because yeah. she thinks John T is perfect. John T, take her on a date, is what I'm hearing. John T, you have my number. Oh, dear. <laughs> he, he's going to be thrilled with the results of this, I feel like. Uh, he, that boy does not need another ego boost. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Okay, Maggie, off your phone. Okay. What's next? Um. So. Oh, wait, you have to do it for me. Yeah, for you. Are we um, pulling up their Instagrams again? Yeah, okay. so for you, I'm going to do Charles Bell. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to also hit is you Is he with, on my Instagram? Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. I'm going to hit you with Riley Russell. Oh, another Riley. Y'all seen him, though. Okay, that's Charlie. Charlie's so cute. Charles. But Charles is my, like, oh, he's like a sibling to me. So that would be literally the creepiest thing in the world. Like, creep, that would creepiest be. thing in the world. Okay, Riley and who else? Um, and then... Uh, like Josh so Richardson. Okay. Well, that's... Okay, honestly, none, none of these are really, like, drama. Wait. Oh, my gosh. Wait, who did you say? I'm going to edit this out. Well, that's fine. But honestly, I was waiting on you to just throw one out there and it'd be like, oh, T. So, <laughs> wait, I got this. F. Ma- Kiss Mary Kill, Charles Bell, Will Carroll, <gasps> no. and no, Riley Russell. No, no, this is not what was agreed upon. <laughs> you said I was waiting on you to throw one. So these are all three guys we know. Okay, this is so awkward now. This is so awkward now. Okay. Um, obviously I'm going to marry Riley. Like, there's no doubt about that. I would marry Riley. I would, we would never kiss. We would never do anything. We would simply be married. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> that would be all there is to it. Um, this is so difficult because I can't do anything with Charles, but I can't do anything with, oh God. Okay, actually, I think I'm going to kiss Riley. I'm going to kiss Riley. I'm going to marry Charles and just never, ever, ever, like, we're going to live in separate homes. And I think that Will Carroll's a nice guy, but I'm going to have to kill him. But only because I have to keep Charles and Riley alive. I agree. That's a good one. You picked, like, two brothers to me. (laughs) Two boys who are basically my brothers. And then one that has been with my friends. (laughs) Don't edit that out. That's funny. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. T. Okay. Um. So last but not least, I guess we should pe- unpack my weekend. Yeah. Um. We were together. We were together. Okay. I guess we should. My just- Friday night. Last Friday night, and we got to table talk. Okay, I, can I talk about my Friday night? Yeah, you talk about your Friday night. Okay, so my Friday night, my one of my good friends, I love her so much. Um, we argue a lot, but she was presented to society in it's her hometown. It's haunt ball. If yes. You know. I think that a lot of her friends are great, but there was maybe one girl, could have been two, could have been three. We're not going to say because I don't want, I doubt anyone's going to listen to this. No offense, Max. Be just because it's getting started. But if someone does listen, I don't want them to be, like, called out. There was this little girl that was stirring the pot. and We love a good pot stir. We love a good pot stir. But it was actually in a crazy way. Like, it was, like, literally blatantly going to me and being, like, did you know this? Or was this said? And then going to someone else and being, like, and, like, we were all intoxicated. So it's, like, kind of hard to see Stuff what's going twisted. on. Stuff gets twisted. Yeah. And so it's kind of hard to see what's going on until after. And then it was, like, the next day I was, like, wow. So then this girl, we had um, my friend's birthday party at my house the next night. She proceeds to do the same thing. No, let's go back. So she was stirring this girl. Pause. Boom. We're back. Mm-hmm. So this girl, she was stirring the pot, basically, and just causing a lot of drama. Unnecessary I, drama, too. I, like, honestly, here's my thing is, like, I get drama happening. Like, I understand that because people have different point of views. Like, stuff is going to happen. But when you blatantly know that you are lying and you are making things up, like, you were coming to my face and lying to me and telling me that, like, someone I care about or even someone I barely know no matter what like they said this you know good and dang well someone either that you care about did not say that about you like especially when they have false motives or someone that you barely know 
they wouldn't care enough to say that about you, you know? Like, they don't care about you to talk about you like that. At least I would hope not. I mean, we are famous. Well, I mean, that would just further prove that we're famous and people are obsessed with us. That's true. But, so it was a lot of that. And, like, I'm glad that we've grown up enough to realize when people are just trying to stir the pot and, like, not play into that because it's just kind of like oh like haha like shut it down yeah like, but oh, it's still stupid, just so annoying like why do people do that because they're fake hoes yeah so do you want to talk about anything else what else do we got um what else we got um basically all of y'all should know that we're famous um if you like us if you like me I shouldn't say us. I wanted Autumn to do a podcast with me. And she was kind of like, no. Oh, my goodness. No, I wasn't. But, like, you're doing this for a class. Yeah. Well, it. there are people who have people on their podcast, like, as their co-host. That but, would be really cool. But, like, ooh. Yeah, I know you We can consider it. it. We can consider it. Um. Anyways, I wanted Autumn to do this podcast with me. Um. But, anyways, if you like me, if you like this episode, be sure to... Follow me on Instagram at DriveBlondePod and on TikTok at DriveBlondePod as well. And leave us a review on Spotify if you think we're funny. I don't know why you wouldn't think we're funny. We're freaking hilarious. Autumn, say something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had a very important conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, I'm going to say something. I didn't listen to a word you just said. Slay. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. This is my outro. Um, I don't know if you noticed this round. We're going to get better at this if I come back on, but we are both dry, blood, and blonde, sometimes brown. But here we yeah, are. Yeah, I mean, we get a wild hair, we dye our hair brown. You know what? We're gonna ah. get we're gonna get more honest as it goes on because we're gonna get more confident with this, and we're gonna say if people cross us, then they should know it's gonna come out on the podcast. <laughs> but until then, <laughs> until we we're keeping them <laughs> safe <laughs> and on lockdown. Yeah, so you better hope we don't explode. So don't cross us. And don't cross us. If you cross us enough, we might really. Then our families you will hear about this because they will be the only people <laughs> listening to this podcast. You want our parents to know? I didn't think so. Are we out? Um, no, I was going to hit a different button. But anyways, remember, slay. Bye, peasants. <laughs>